Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. And today we're going to be uh, rebuilding the Willys Jeep. So uh, what we need to do, we need to take this engine off of here first and place it back inside the car. So um, in the last episode, we took it all apart. Uh, as per usual, and uh, rebuilt the engine. Um, so what we need to do... Is start uh, rebuilding... No, wrong thing. Is start rebuilding parts of the car. So we've got ourselves a brand new gearbox here. Uh, transfer case has been fixed. Uh, so we need a middle muffler and a V8 OHV as well. Uh, exhaust. There we go. Uh, now we're going to go for the rear axle first. Uh, we can fit in that drive shaft too. There we go. Right, if we come over here. So we need eight small rubber bushings, and I don't know whether shock absorbers get repaired. No, they don't. So we need a uh, rear shock absorber B. And we also need a bunch of rubber bushings. And probably about 10 of them as well. At least. Did I get two rear shock absorbers? Yes. And rubber bushings. Yep. And now the rear axle knuckle housing. We can pop some wheel hubs on. Stuff like that. Uh, cylinders can go on. Uh, brake shoes. I don't get how they can repair the brake shoes, to be honest. Uh, unmount that. Yep. Uh, let's go back to the tablet. We need some new brake drums. I think they're all brake drum things. Um, what else did we need? Fuel tank. There we go. Fuel tank. Uh, there we go. Mount on the new brake drums. And then we've got the rims to put on. And there's a new fuel tank. And fuel pump. There we go, that's that sorted out. Now if we put the new shock absorbers in and the knuckles. Uh, we need to pop suspension in as well. Can't forget that. Otherwise you'll be going over bumps and you'll feel every single one. Every single one going up your spine. Uh, rear drive axles, brake shoes, again, how do they fix them, I don't know, and that is the rear completed, I think, now onto the front, 
we've got a little more work to do because we've got all these axle parts and stuff like that. So tie rods can't be repaired. But we knew that. And we also need front shock absorber bees. Uh, front shock absorber bees, tie rods. Okay, let's go do that. And there we go. We got our tie rods. Inner tie, outer tie. And we just got the ties to do on that one. Uh, front shock absorbers. We've got inner tie rod there. Couple of steering knuckles and tie rods again. Ah, I forgot the leaf springs on plate on the other one. I'll do that first. Because I will forget. There we go. And the rubber bushings, the most annoying parts to put in, except clips. I think clips are the most annoying parts, actually. Uh, brake shoes and brake drum. And we're done for the suspension. This car's coming along nicely, actually. Uh, yeah. Right, so uh, what we need to do now, we need to get some cooling parts. We need radiator C. Here we go, radiator C. We also need brake servo and we need something else. Battery. There we go. Starter motor we've already got. Uh, if we fit in the battery. Do we not have a brake servo? I thought we had one in this car. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. Right. Um, what we got to do now? We have to sort out the tires. So if we take a look at our inventory we should see the specs of the tires so rim jeep 
looking for Jeep. There we go. And we need some tyres as well to go with that. So we are going to get off-road tyre. Wait, what was that? Seventy-five, not forty. Where did I get forty from? Seventy-five, and we need four of them. There we go. Right, let's start with the tires. Take that, balance it out on here, and then we'll install another one. And the last tire, there we go. Balance that. Um mount on the brand new tires they are looking fresh and the last tire to be balanced Oh, there we go. Take that. And fit it onto here. And there we go. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to the tablet. And I'm going to buy every single part for the Willy's Jeep. Ah, it's the Willy's military. Oh yeah, I need to get the welder over. move these over to here use that make sure everything is clean and there we go everything has gone back Rear bumper. Um, assemble. Number plate. And I think that is good. 
Um, now all we need to do is get ourselves some interior parts. And I think they're all repaired. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yep, they're all looking good. Um, so what I need to do now is fill it up with oil and we should be ready to go. Uh, let's move you to the paint shop. Ah, one thing I didn't put on is the front number plate. There we go. Right. Now, what colour to do the Willy's Jeep? Oh. There we go. We'll go for that, actually. That looks cool. Uh, let's move that to the dyno now. And for once, we've actually managed to build a car without forgetting a part. Which is amazing. Never mind. I told you I'd forgotten something. And that I would forget it. Ah. Leaf spring plates. Ah, this side. Right, let's go back over. Okay, that's easily fixed. I told you as well. Clip bees are so annoying. I've even bought them, I think. Where's the ignition distributor? Here it is. There we go, there's one clip. And there's another clip. And let's go with the dyno test. So we should end up with 60 horsepower. Perfect. Right, that is that done. Uh, let's move you back to the entrance over here. This car is looking amazing. So this time we're actually instead at the off-road track. So let's give the Jeep a try. So when I actually gave this a test drive beforehand, the car couldn't drive at all across this. It's not going to get up there. Of course not. Let's try once more.
Nearly. Oof! It's very wobbly. I don't think this car has enough power, but the uh, Jeep Wrangler should easily be able to do this. I mean, look at that. We've just stopped dead in our tracks. It's because of the front bumper. Uh, let's return back to the garage. Come on, load. Here we go. So, uh, in the past two episodes, we have rebuilt this amazing Willy's Jeep. Uh, next episode, we should be doing the Wrangler, which actually looks the same from the front. Obviously, it's a different car. It's more modern. But they have very... Surprising similarities between the two. Um, so yeah, we'll be rebuilding this next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye.